Just a quick recap of what we are trying to achieve. We are trying to build a microservice system with three microservices that represent three departments in a hospital. So we are actually building a hospital information system. So to keep it simple, we've chosen three departments, the HR department that have a list of employees of the hospital, the pathology department that have a list of diseases where they need to diagnose using lab tests. So the pathology department is a lab. So what we request from the pathology department is a list of diseases that they can handle. Then in the HR department, we need a list of employees, or let's say let's say list list of doctors or physicians. Then we have the admissions department that have a list of patients. So for each of these three services, they can they have different data they store. They don't store the same kind of data. Later in, later in another tutorial, we are, we are going to talk about relationship or how to aggregate this data. So we've succeeded in creating these three different applications. I remember. A microservice system is such that the different services can be decoupled and deployed separately. So if the HR is down, that does not mean the admissions will be down, or that does not mean that the lab test, the lab will be down. So that's the advantage of microservices. And up till now, we've created these three services. So I'm going to simply go to test them because they run in different ports. And before I test them, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe button below to subscribe right now so that you kind of motivate me to continue making this lesson. So if you have any comment or something you want to let me know, I'd like to hear from you, to hear from your comment. And that means that help me to see that I'm not doing this alone, that we're actually working together. And also I'd like to say I'm proud of you because if you're up to this point in this tutorial, it means that you are really, really doing so great. So I'm really proud of you. And I'd like to hear from you. So. The admission service in running in port A081 uh, is, can be reached from ad, slash admissions. And yeah, so this is the admission service in slash admissions. And there we can get list of patients. We can get a list of patients. So our challenge have stopped it from running. But at this point, let's go and start all of them. And then we can test all of them to make sure everything is okay. So I'm going to start the admission service. Admission service starts. Okay, so it starts and it runs on port A081 as you can see. Uh, okay, um, runs in port A081 as you can see. So uh, we start another one, HR service. It also starts and runs on port A082. Yeah, I can move this thing out here. Yeah. Okay, so sorry, let me move all the console back to where it is. Hmm. All right, so I didn't know why. All right, so this is what, what I was trying to achieve. Okay, so let's just continue. So I've started the the, the admission service A081. So let me now go to start the pathology service. Pathology service started. So at this point, I'm going to go to test all of them to make sure they can return the data they have. So let's go to the browser. So I'm going to say slash patients. Okay, so let's go to HR service to get list of employees. HR slash employees. Uh, hey, okay, the port is 8082 and it gives me a list of employees and the last one is pathology service to give me a list of diseases. Alright, so 8083, sometimes I forget. Alright, so that's fine. 